I have two producers with me. Today, they're going to be going head to head in a beat battle to see how much equipment really matters when it comes to making beats. One of them is an expert who's only going to be allowed to use stock sounds from FL Studio. The other producer is a beginner who's allowed to use anything he wants. This is Marbello, our beginner producer. We just loaded him up with a huge care package from theproducercrate.com so he has all the top industry sounds at his disposal. And this is Jack Hayes, our expert producer, and we gave him, well, nothing. Bruh. Sorry Jack, he will only be allowed to use stock FL Studio sound, which means no plugins, no drum kits, and no instruments. Let's find out how much of a difference all these tools make and see if Jack can still make a banging beat without them. Here are the rules. You have one hour to make the best beat you possibly can. Your beat can be any genre you want. And finally, no sampling is allowed. Once both of the beats are finished, we're going to put them on an anonymous Instagram story poll. And by the end of it, whoever gets the least amount of votes is going to have a punishment that we're going to reveal later in the video. Before we start, I just have one more thing to tell you guys. 30 minutes into the challenge, I'll be calling you guys to tell you exactly what the punishment is, as well as an additional rule that could either make life easier or harder for you. Uh... Good luck guys, your time starts now. All right, I have pretty much like 500 gigabytes of kits here, but I can't use them. So I pretty much went ahead and selected the stock sounds right here. I really never used those before in like so many years of producing, but I guess uh, today we're giving it a try, man. We'll, we'll just give it a try. All right, so we got 30 minutes on the clock before the next call comes in. I don't know what to start with, to be honest with y'all, but I do got an idea though. Let's start with maybe, usually when I'm starting out like beats from scratch like this, I usually do tend to like use like a MIDI or something like that. Gotta use the M1. Can't go wrong with the chord. The pads always kind of give you like the foundation. And... Shit already sounds wrong. So I have a bunch of stock VST plugins from FL Studio that I've went ahead and put in a folder here just so I don't get confused. Let's get it started, I guess. I want to start with like a melody. Like a clap or something just to give me like a rhythm here bro there's not even a clap here what there's a snares bro what i don't even know if i can do this yeah right there it's like the little dun, 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 dun. You see, like, you keep using the MIDI as a guideline. You're not using the full thing, but little bits and pieces of it. See, something simple like that. Yo, I feel like I've just started making beats and I'm just, like, cooking up or something. I want to do, like, a snare roll after this. So, like... Let me just put this in a mixer channel, but I gotta be careful here because I cannot use any VSTs that are not from FL. Yo, should we do the sound goodizer? I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, Flex has like 808s. Aha. Uh -huh. Nobody's gonna expect this. Dude, that 808, I hate that 808. It sounds so out of out of tune or something. We need an off, off hat, uh, excuse me, off. Wait, I can't speak. Off hat, open hat. Yeah, that's it, we need that. Before we get any further, I just wanna make sure that you never have to end up in the same situation as Jack where you can only use stock sounds because let's be honest, these stock sounds suck. Of course, if you're a great producer, you can make them work, blah, blah, blah. 
but f that you need some good sounds so to make sure that you're never gonna have to miss out on top industry sounds again i'm gonna give you a 25 percent discount code to the producercrate.com which is full of literally every single type of sound kit you could possibly need including expansions for your vsts some crazy hard sounding drums and even some melodic samples be sure to check out the link in the description so you can get yourself loaded up with the top industry sounds before we get back into the cookout pause this video and leave a comment to let me know what your prediction is on who you think is gonna win all right let's get back to it a little bit of high hats Then all we do is add this little bit right here, little texture. Dude, I feel like I'm like in 2012 or something right now. That's crazy. Let me just do something on the 808. Oh yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't use. I was gonna use like a booster or something, like a knock. But oh wait, I think wait FL has bass boost. I think. Oh, they do. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my god, bro. What? Oh yeah, I was about to use some drums, but I can't. Oh, you know what I should use, bro? We, we should use um citrus. I feel like citrus could be fire. I haven't used this plugin for probably like eight years or something. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up just a second. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is fire. This sound effect right there is, a, is so crazy. I wish there was more bass to it. Let me add a bass boost. <laughs> I know the plugins now. I'm starting to know them. Okay, they're calling back. They're calling back. Shit, he's calling. What's up, guys? I just paused the timer. How are you guys feeling about your beat so far? Yeah, I just finished off the intro. Oh, uh, it's called about to do like the layout basically. I already got the building blocks, just doing the layout right now. Um, uh, pretty much finished, but I just need to sequence it and maybe add some extra things for like choruses and whatnot. I'm pretty much done. All right, so whoever gets the least amount of votes is gonna have to go up to a stranger in public, ask them to record you, and then when they do, you're gonna dump a bucket of ice water all over yourself and yell the other person's name and say they are the most goaded producer. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. I wasn't expecting that, but... Uh. Oh yeah, before I let you guys get back to cooking up, I've got one more thing to tell you. We've got a secret rule that might fuck up your beat or it might make it a little bit easier for you. You're gonna have to add 10 BPM to your beat wherever it is. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's perfect. Actually, I was about to do that. All right. 30 more minutes on the clock starting now. Let's get it. We got 30 more minutes here. Uh, Stafford told us to increase our BPM. I'm at 138 here. We're going to go to 148. I think I should be good. Um, if it doesn't work out, I'm just going to flip the drums to like something more drill or something. I'm going to try to like do something to it because it kind of sounds fast right now. I guess I could just chop it up though. As long as it's in FL, I could do it. I don't like using 808s normally. It never really works out for me. I'm going to start doing like a synth bass instead. Yeah, right there. Let's use this over here. Dude, I have never in my life used this plugin. I don't even think I have crow speed on this computer. Do I have crow speed? Yeah, I know. I don't have. Yeah, it's a trial. Okay, Stafford, don't punish me. Okay, it's still a FL Studio plugin, even though it's a trial. Okay. Ooh, wait, hold up, hold up. I feel like I'm doing so much right now, but. I want to get this melody good, you know what I'm saying? Dude, 
Dude, I'm cooking right now. I don't care what anyone says. I'm cooking right now. Like, I, I don't even have plugins. I only have stock plugins. Keep that in mind, okay? There we go. This shit going hard as hell. Yeah, I think I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win, bro. I swear. What am I doing, bro? All right, I think I'm done. I'm gonna check headphones just to see if it sounds good. What's going on, y'all? Is raps. How'd you guys' beats turn out? I've done like 30 minute challenges for myself just to see how I would do, or like just to give myself like an ear break, but damn. That shit felt stressed as hell. Okay, what about you, Jack? Uh, not too bad, I mean, it was it was the hard just like finding sounds i feel like for me like because i'm always used to like going in certain vsts and sounds and like kits so just not having that it's just like it's just so much time consuming you know yeah i feel like there's a lot of good opportunities to make good melodies when it comes to just the stock plugins but i feel like for me personally i would probably have the biggest struggle doing the drums because the drums compared to what people be making these days ooh, Pick whoever wants to go first. Go ahead and screen share and we'll check out your beat. Uh, yeah, I'll let Jack go first, ain't gonna lie. All right, bet. Let's get it. Yeah, that melody's hard. Jack's gonna No, yeah, for real. I love that. Oh, the plugs in the background. Yeah, that's hard. How do you feel like the lack of instruments affected your beat? Dude, it was like, cause obviously like when you have your go-tos, it's like a lot faster, right? But now like, I really have to like construct the sound that I want using the plugins and stuff. So it's kind of like, it takes a bit of more time, but I don't know. I, I think I did pretty good considering I was like uh, in a clutch, you know? Most definitely. All right, that was Jack's beat. Let's go ahead and switch over to Marbello's beat and see how he did with all the tools and instruments that we gave him. All uh, right, so I said my shit turned out pretty good. I went for like an X theme. I like the ending, dude. That ending is hard, yeah. It's a really nice ending. Yeah, that's hard, bro. I'm gonna have both of you guys send me the beat. I'm gonna put them up on my Instagram story. If you guys wanna put them up on your Instagram stories too, collect as many votes as we can. Once the stories expire, we'll see who the winner is and who the loser is and see how much of a difference equipment really made when it comes to the beat making process. This is a fun challenge. Good luck. We'll touch base when we have the votes in. All right, guys, the final votes are in. How are you guys feeling? Feeling good, feeling good, feeling confident. I don't know yet, I don't know yet. All right, so we had a total of 487 votes and with a grand total of 398 votes, Jack Hayes is our winner. Yo. Uh, and he had the glasses prepped. He had the glasses prepped. Dude, like I told you off camera, like I was not expecting to win because like one thing wrong in the beat and I felt like I was gone, you know? Marbello, 
you finished in second place with a grand total of 89 votes. Hey, that's 89 people who fucked with it though. Most definitely. Was that the outcome that you were expecting going into this? Uh, outcome wise, not really. I honestly wasn't expecting to win either. Cause like to, to look at things like in perspective, cause like after seeing so many producers do this, especially after going to a retreat and everything like that, man, I don't think the equipment matters. It's mostly just the person who's behind it. People who know the knowledge behind it and what they feel about what beat should be like. All right, we'll see you in the punishment. Good luck. Uh, dude, can I just say, can I just say something? I'm not. I'm never using external plugins again. I'm just using FL plugins now from now on. If you're using external plugins, like I don't trust you. All right, so we just got here. Uh, we out here. I gotta do this embarrassing ass fucking punishment. This looks so fucking weird having an iPad out here. Excuse me. Can you record me? Can you record me? Just like hold. Yeah, yeah. Just record the iPad. Ah, okay. Hey, excuse me. Uh, can you record me? Can you, like, record me? Just hold the iPad and show it on me. What happened? Yeah, just hold the iPad. Yeah. Hold it. Like, show it this way, I guess. Show it this way. Can you turn around? Yeah, it's all like that. That's cool. Jack is the, the golden producer. Oh, what the? What the heck? Oh, man. America, man. Are you crazy now? Who's gonna clean this up? I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. Have the brush. Why you do that? How about the people who will sleep? I own the store right here. Why you do this shit right here? Okay, I'm sorry, man. Yo, look. See, it's funny. Look, it's not funny. But I'll go clean it up. Wait right here. I'm gonna give you the brush. You have to brush it. All right, so as it turns out, equipment may not matter as much as you might have thought. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out Jack and Marbello. They're both awesome producers. Hit the subscribe button so we can keep making dope videos like this, and we'll see you guys next time.